We are Wells Skelmersdale. We are focused on creating tomorrow together. We'd like to take a little time to give you a feel for some of the themes that are emerging and evolving. These themes build on the assets, opportunities and enthusiasm we have in Skelmersdale. Right, well, we've been trying to find, as, a, as well, Skelmersdale, just a little bit about uh, what's on offer and, uh, you know, what people are, are wanting and things like that. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, obviously asset mapping is all about asking people, what, what do they, what do you want, you know, what do you want? But I think there's good ways and not so good ways of doing that. Anything like that, you have to get involved with the people. You can't just go and do it on your own. You have to get people involved. But I think the most important thing that you can do there is to actually act on it and to show people that have been part of that, that you are acting and that their voice has been heard. Social prescribing is a, is a big issue, particularly in deprived communities where, like Scalmersdale, where we know we need to help people to tackle the determinants of health rather than just presenting with a medical model or a medical solution to a problem. I'm Paula Gamester and I head up the sewing rooms at Space Tree in Scalmersdale. We have a number of projects that we run. Um, one is uh, the over 50s project we call it Patchwork Buddies and that is for women who are over 50 who are maybe isolated, lonely, vulnerable, living isolated lives and we open up an opportunity for the women to come here and engage in the sewing rooms. We run a club, I run a men's club where a few of us meet up, we can, it gives a chance for the men to be open and talk about things we don't normally talk about. Um, in front of our, even our best friends or our mum and dads or um, even the local vicar, there's things you won't say that you that you can't be saying in the fit because it's a, it's what stays in the it stays in their four walls. So that's a really good thing. The men's clubs, it's nice to see that there's some more going to be starting up around scale as well and, and beyond scale. I'm Mark Ashton. I'm the director of the Arts Centre. The Arts Centre is a, a social enterprise that offers a wide range of unique creative opportunities to local people schools, businesses across Skelmersdale and the West Lancashire area. It's our commercial activity that what helps us to fund a thriving youth scene. We've got over 250 young people who attend each week to participate in anything from drama, dance and music to photography, film, theatrical makeup. In 2014 we, we took on an underutilised rundown community centre off the Borough Council. We turned it into something very different and very special. Uh, working around Well Skelmersdale, the, the programme, it's really highlighted to me as a GP just how much is going on out there, right on our doorstep, uh, fantastic people offering fantastic support across a range of different um, services. Yes, uh... For the last two years we've been uh, in a legal dispute with the, the owners of the concourse. Uh, that seems to be over now, we seem to have won, the Borough Council's won. And now we're making plans with our partner St Modwins and the HCA and the County Council uh, to move that project forward. Uh, we're hoping now it's going to incorporate a new leisure centre to replace Nye with it. And we've looked around at how integration with health and leisure in some other areas where they've, they've made that a real success. That's what's led to the partnership approach where we want to make a flagship building built into the community where people go to naturally, where they naturally converge to, where we can try and get people to improve their lifestyle through the links with leisure, with the social prescribing elements and with, with the medical facilities and try and join everything up rather than have lots of different services in different places. More recently the County Council have put some of their buildings up in Skelmersdale for community asset transfer. Buildings that they now see as a problem could potentially be an opportunity for, for us here in Skelmersdale. We're in the final stages now of a tender process for a building in the heart of the community. And I think we have the opportunity here to do something quite different and quite exciting. We'd be looking to combine mental health services with some of our creative opportunities and volunteer programs develop community allotments and growing projects in line with some of this work on social prescribing 
make it home to some private businesses that focus on well-being and that can bring a different level of expertise and other opportunities in many other areas. This is a quality space with huge potential and we're excited about what the future may hold. There. The, the beauty of this, the Digmo development, I think, is that it's in right in the centre of the community and can help regenerate that area and bring the community and health very much together, which is, which is kind of what we're hoping for with, with that, with that new, new particular building. I would I definitely suppose it because many years, well, some years ago, that land was going to be used for housing um, and we were going through stock transfer. It fell through, so the housing never appeared. Um, so it's a wasted piece of land and I think it will make a massive dif difference because people will want to come to Digmore. Around the town centre development, part of that project as well, or that development will be a new park uh, going towards the Tord Valley itself, the River Tord, and that's a that could be a place to have your picnics, to have bands playing in the summer, like watching your kids, you know. The County Council have told us now that, that place will be demolished and at the college site as well they're working together will be demolished by the end of March now so that's all be put right back to how it should be safe and we we'll look forward to a development going on there next year that's going to be a you know, benefit for Skem as well for retail possibly a rail station we still haven't been told what the site is but it's looking like that could possibly be the site for a new rail station for Skemsdale which again is a new exciting opportunity for everyone Mental health has always been a big part of what I do as a GP. Um, you know, if you look at the figures, they say something like one in four people that comes through my door is suffering some form of mental health problem. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that mental health does sit on an equal footing with physical health and actually responds to what people actually need when they're feeling poorly with a mental health problem. Yeah. There's lots of ways that we can support people to be strong and resilient. We are offering creativity. So for example, downstairs Total Reuse have a program um, called the Men's Sheds. And again, that just opens up opportunities for men who are lonely and isolated to come along and do stuff, be creative. But the whole focus is them being together. Because we wanted to gather as much opinion from as broad a base as possible about the statements that were coming together to form the new kind of service that we think we need to have running in this area. So we're trying to look at developing a mental health service that from the patient's point of view feels as if it responds to their needs and is uh, seamless uh, right the way through. Because um, I'm very passionate about where I live, I won't let anyone pull Skelmsdale down. I go out to Skelmsdale sometimes and I'm glad to come back because we have got issues here, there are things that's missing but we've got the most beautiful greenery anyway. Uh, and then there's another third element at the moment, we've just uh, agreed to commission consultants to a study, we're spending a bit of money, £25,000 on the Tord Valley Park itself and we're hoping that you know we're going to go out to the local people asking them what do they want there. Do they want a, a new trim trail? Do they want you know, zip wires, BMX parks, nature trails, you know, gruffalo trails? What, what do they want? And then we're going to go out and find that you know, there's money out there to be able to develop for recreation and for heritage trails and stuff like that. And we're very confident that Tord Valley Park will be the jewel in the crown, not just Skemmersdale, but of West Lancashire. The invite to join us on this journey is an open one. Get in touch with us. Get in touch with your hopes, your aspirations, your ideas, your solutions. Come with us and be a part of creating tomorrow together.